From its iconic canals to its historic palazzos, Venice is one of Italy's most beloved cities. With its enchanting beauty and unique architecture, it's no wonder why it continues to be a popular tourist destination. From the grandeur of St. Mark's Square to the hidden gems of the lesser-known islands, Venice has something for everyone. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, this guide will help you uncover the timeless charm of this beautiful city and explore its many stories and must-see sights. St. Mark's Square is the heart of Venice. Located in the historic center of the city, it has been a popular destination for centuries and is now one of the most visited sites in Italy. With its breathtaking views of the Grand Canal, majestic basilicas, and impressive palazzos, St. Mark's Square is a must-see for anyone visiting Venice. The origins of St. Mark's Square can be traced back to the 9th century when it was used as a public gathering place. At the time, it was the only square in Venice and was a place for social and political interaction. Over the centuries, it has become a popular place for entertainment, sightseeing, and other activities. It is the largest square in the city and is surrounded by some of the city's most important buildings, including the Doge's Palace, the Campanile, and the Basilica of San Marco. The square is also also home to several statues, monuments, and fountains, including the statue of the winged lion, which is the symbol of Venice. For visitors, St. Mark's Square is an ideal place to start exploring Venice. There are a number of cafes, restaurants, and bars located around the square, making it the perfect spot to unwind after a day of sightseeing. The Bridge of Sighs was designed by Antonio Cantino and opened in 1602. The bridge connects the Doge's palace to the old prison, and its name derives from the size of prisoners who would cross the bridge for their final judgment. It has been said that the prisoners were able to see a last glimpse of Venice before their sentence was passed, and these last sights of the beautiful city earned the bridge its name. The bridge is built with white limestone and is decorated with two rows of stone masks. Today, the Bridge of Sighs is a symbol of love and romance and is a popular spot to visit for couples in Venice. With its beautiful views and historical importance, it's the perfect place to take a romantic stroll or to simply admire the stunning Venetian skyline. Tourists can take a gondola right under the bridge and enjoy the view of the Grand Canal or wander through the streets of Venice and take in the sights of the city. There are also a number of restaurants and cafes located near the bridge, offering a variety of Italian cuisine and drinks. The Doge's Palace in Venice is located in the heart of the city. It has been a symbol of Venetian political power and grandeur since the 9th century. Built in the Venetian Gothic style, the palace is notable for its beauty and historical significance. It was originally built as a ford in 814 and served as the home of the doges for hundreds of years. It was later expanded into a full-fledged palace in the 13th century and underwent several renovations throughout the years. During the 14th century, 
The palace was used as a government building, and it served as a place of justice and the seat of the Venetian Republic. The Doge's Palace is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Venice. It is home to several pieces of artwork and sculptures, including the famous bronze horses that adorn the palace's entrance. Inside, Visitors can explore the grand halls and chambers, and view the impressive artworks and furniture. The Grand Canal, spanning for over two miles, it's one of the world's most iconic waterways, a celebrated symbol of the city's illustrious history, and a beloved destination for tourists from all over the world. This majestic canal has been a vital lifeline for Venice for centuries, and its grandeur has withstood the test of time, making it an essential part of the city's identity. It was first constructed in the 12th century, when Venetian merchants needed a reliable waterway to transport goods from the lagoon out to the Adriatic Sea. Over the centuries it has served as an important means of transportation for Venetian merchants, and continues to be used for both commercial and recreational purposes. Today, the Grand Canal is a popular destination for both locals and visitors alike. Tourists can take a leisurely cruise, admiring the majestic architecture, or take a gondola ride through the canals, passing beneath the famous Rialto Bridge and other landmarks. Visitors can also walk along its banks discovering hidden gems and breathtaking views. The Grand Canal is also home to some of the most important landmarks in Venice, including Doge's Palace, St. Mark's Square, and the Santa Maria della Salute Church. Built in the 16th century, the Rialto Bridge has long been a symbol of Venetian pride and grandeur. It was designed by the renowned Venetian architect Antonio da Ponte, and was the first ever bridge to span the Grand Canal. It was originally constructed from wood and comprised a single arch, but was later replaced with a stone bridge featuring three arches. The Rialto Bridge is a popular tourist destination and is known for its intricate and decorative sculptures, including the two columns at its entrance, which are decorated with sculptures of four figures representing the four seasons. The Rialto Bridge is a defining feature of Venice's skyline and provides stunning views of the historic city. It is also a great spot to view the famous gondolas passing underneath. On both sides of the bridge, you can find souvenir shops and restaurants, making it a popular spot for tourists. Burano is a small, colorful island with a rich history and culture. It has been inhabited since the 6th century, and the first documented mention of the island dates back to the 11th century. In the 16th century, the island's economy was based on its fishing industry, and in the 19th century, it became a popular tourist destination. Today, Burano is home to a vibrant culture, and is known for its brightly colored buildings and lace-making industry. The island is also renowned for its seafood, especially the delicious seafood risotto. Burano is a beautiful island to explore, with its vibrant colors, fascinating history, and delicious cuisine. It's easy to reach from Venice by boat, and the trip is an enjoyable one. When visiting Burano, Visitors should be sure to explore the island's various attractions. These include the Lace Museum, which houses a collection of antique lace and showcases the tradition of lace making on the island. 
and the Burano Tower, which is a historical monument that was built in the 16th century. Santa Maria della Salute Church is one of the most significant and historically important in the country. This stunningly beautiful and iconic landmark is a symbol of Venice's deep-rooted past and attracts thousands of visitors to the city each year. Having been built in 1631, the history of Santa Maria Church is as rich and complex as Venice's past. The church was built in response to a vow made by the Venetian Republic to the Virgin Mary, after a deadly outbreak of the plague that ravaged the city in 1630. Under the direction of architect Baldassar Longhina, the church was completed in 1687. The Doge of Venice, Francesco Morosini, promised that if the city was spared from the disease, a church would be built in honor of the Virgin Mary. The name of the church, Santa Maria della Salute, translates to Our Lady of Health, a reminder of the Doge's promise. The most impressive part is the main altar, covered with marble and decorated with a bronze relief of the Virgin Mary surrounded by angels. Today, Santa Maria della Salud is a beloved part of Venetian culture. Every year, the church hosts a festival to honor the Virgin Mary. For four days, the streets around the church are filled with vendors, musicians, and revelers, making it one of the most exciting times of the year in Venice. Murano, the picturesque island located in the Venetian lagoon is known for its centuries-old tradition of glassmaking and its magnificent churches and palaces. The history of Murano dates back to the 6th century, when it was formed by a series of canals. Throughout the centuries, the island has been home to a variety of civilizations, including the Venetians, who are credited with crafting many of the beautiful glass works that still adorn the island today. Today, Murano is home to some of the finest glassmaking workshops in the world. Tourists can visit these workshops and observe the glassblowing process, learn about the history of glassmaking, and purchase some of these beautiful works of art. It's also home to a number of churches, palaces, and museums, including the Glass Museum and the Ceramics Museum. The artisans here created a variety of glass objects, such as vases, bottles, and lamps. They also developed new techniques of glass making, such as the use of different colors, creating glass with swirls, and even creating glass that could be painted on. Murano glass is still renowned for its quality and beauty today. Theatre of Venice is a renowned opera house that has seen centuries of music, theatre, and entertainment. Located in the San Marco district, this iconic theatre has been entertaining audiences since 1792. The theatre has a rich history and has seen some of the world's greatest composers and performers grace its stage. It was built in 1792 by the Venetian nobleman Bartolomeo Bezzi. The theatre was originally created as a place for locals to enjoy performances and entertainment but gradually it began to attract international attention as the world's leading opera house. Throughout the centuries, some of the most famous opera performers have graced the stage, including Giacomo Puccini, Giuseppe Verdi, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The theater is also home to the Venice Music Festival, an annual event that features performances from world-renowned musicians. The theater is filled with incredible architecture and art, such as its 18th century ceiling frescoes and sculptures. You can purchase tickets to attend one of the many operas that are performed, or you can visit the theater during its open house days, when special events, concerts, and other programs are offered. Peggy Guggenheim's museum is located in the Grand Canal and is home to an amazing collection of modern art pieces from the 20th century. The museum holds a vast collection of pieces from some of the world's most renowned artists, 
including Picasso, Dali, Kandinsky, and Pollock. The museum is one of Venice's most popular tourist attractions, and it is a must-see for any art enthusiast. Peggy Guggenheim was an avid patron of the arts and her home in Venice is a testament to her incredible taste in art. She was an early supporter of many of the artists whose works are now displayed in the museum, and she was also the first person to bring abstract art to Italy. Her passion for art was evident in her home, which was decorated with modern art pieces, and she even had a private collection of sculptures and paintings. Her home was also full of interesting antiques and artifacts, which are now also on display in the museum. The museum is open to the public and is one of the most visited museums in Venice. Visitors can explore the permanent collection, which includes masterpieces from many renowned artists, or they can attend one of the many special exhibitions that the museum organizes throughout the year. 